was the summer of 2014, and for my son's bar mitzvah present, just like many Jewish parents, we wanted him to bond with the Holy Land. Oh, it worked perhaps too well. My husband had stayed back at the hotel, and our friends, my son and I, had just stopped in a pharmacy. Run! Run to the bomb shelter, sweetie! Please! Please hurry! I didn't hear the sirens at first, but the Israelis did. They're used to hearing these things. We ran to the back of the storeroom. It was a 12 foot by 24 foot windowless bomb shelter. My heart's pounding. Boom! Boom! I hear and feel the percussion of the exploding bombs. I'm trying not to get sick. I look at my 13-year-old son and I think I'll never forgive myself if something happens to him. That's an excerpt from a speech I gave to the Orange County Jewish Bar Association. It was the first but not the last time we had to run to a bomb shelter. Our adventure and my transformation is also the subject of my book, Blasted from Complacency, A Journey from Terror to Transformation in Israel. There is no chapter in a parenting book on what to do when a war starts and you're on a family vacation. Think touring extraordinary and sacred sites mixed with cowering in bomb shelters. I'm still trying to get over the Jewish guilt of taking my son to war for his bar mitzvah present. The impact of being human targets helped me understand the plight of Israelis living like this, and it also made me want to work on peace. How Israel is often described on the news is not what I'd seen with my own eyes, and I felt Palestinian parents also preferred their children playing safely in their backyards. The missiles exploded just near enough to blow apart my world as I knew it, forever changing me, and you'd never recognize my life today with what it was like then. I believe I found my life's purpose. Hello, and welcome everyone to Peace with Penny. I'm talking today with Khaled Abu Awad. Like Shaul Judelman, who we had on our first Peace with Penny interview, he helped found Roots Shorashim Judah. Shorashim is Roots in Hebrew and Judah in Arabic. And today he is their co-director. It's a peace organization that I've truly grown to love since our fateful trip in 2014. And it is dedicated to building reconciliation and understanding between Israeli settlers and Palestinians in the West Bank. Surprised? Their philosophy is that if you're going to make peace with anyone, you go to where the war is. Being Jewish and loving Israel, I have to admit at times listening to Palestinian experiences and beliefs can sometimes make me uncomfortable for many reasons, and it should. I know today will be no different. By the way, I want to mention that tomorrow is Holocaust Memorial Day. May their memories be a blessing. Let's quickly cover a couple points before we begin. If you have any questions, please put them in the chat box and I'll ask them later as time permits. And please remember if you missed any of the episodes of Peace with Penny, they are on pennyst.com under podcasts or the Peace with Penny Facebook page. Khaled Abu Awad is an award-winning Palestinian peace activist. Given his past history and personal losses, you never would have predicted that today he would work on peace with Israeli settlers. His tragic family story chronicles the inhumane Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the forces that brought him to see the enemy no longer as monsters, but as humans with their own tragic narratives to tell. Two of Khaled's brothers were killed and his son was maimed. He and many members of his family, who were leaders in the first intifada, including his brother Ali Abu Awad and his mother Fatma, who was close with Yasser Arafat, spent years in jail. How did he transform his life from being a victim to a survivor? Well, we're about to have the opportunity to hear his story now. Khaled, welcome. Thank you, Benny. Welcome. Good evening. Khaled, <laughs> um, I know you love kids and your family tradition is to have lots of them. You're married, in fact, you yourself have five boys and five girls. How yeah. many How many brothers and sisters did you have? I have 13 brothers and sisters. Wow. Wow. Palestinians, I, I'm 
and many uh, particularly religious Israelis I've heard have huge families. Wow. Um, your family's always been a prominent Palestinian family. Can you tell me about what it was like growing up in such a family? To grow as a Palestinian, a son of a Palestinian family, uh, uh, in my age now, I passed a lot of tragedy in, uh, in, in our region because of the conflict that we have here. Uh, my family's story starts since 1948. The first uh, uh, meeting between my family and uh, uh, the conflict is start when they forced to uh, to leave uh, uh, their uh, village uh, Kubeba uh, in 1948. So they move uh, to live in, uh, in in the Hebron area in Khalid Afana, which is called Goshitzion nowadays, and mm. until 1967. And uh, in the Day War in 1967, they 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 left. Uh, Khalid uh, Afan to Jordan because of the Six Day War. Uh, we spent there for around 10 uh, to 12 days. Then my father decided to come back uh, to Palestine uh, and to start for the third time uh, building uh, the house and uh, a new place for our family. Wow. Um I know that usually when we think of Palestinian culture, we think of it as a very male dominant culture. Yet your mother was a very strong woman and was close to Yasser Arafat and played a leadership role in the first intifada with other members of your family. Can you talk about what the first intifada was like and, and, and her, her and your family's role in it? The first intifada start in 1987. Before that, uh, the, that days, uh, we have been treated by the Israel army and the Israel blue police and all the Israel security system in, in, a, in a very ugly and bad way. Uh, in the checkpoint, uh, you have uh, to to raise up your hands. You have to you you can be bitten by the soldiers. Everything. So, 1987, when the first intifada start, uh, 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 and for me, as uh, on that uh, days, I have been uh, uh, in the age of uh, 19, 20. Mm. Uh, 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 but I've seen that uh, the, uh, the, the women, the Palestinian women, took a very main position leading this intifada. It's not only our mother, Fatima. A lot of other women have been in the high position uh, leading the, 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 the first intifada. Mm. Actually, they play a main uh, position. Uh, how to manage, how to lead, how to give orders. They are, uh, they are very clever, they are very strong. Uh, they have a strong personality and they have a strong belong to, to, to their nationality, to their uh, uh, nation. So uh, she's, she, in, in, in our family, our mother Fatma consider our leaders. And when the Antifada starts, she's the one who lead everything in the family and have the connection with Yasser Arafat and with the, with the PLO leaders, leadership. And uh, she's been a very known and very famous woman in all the, the Palestinian uh, area. When you were growing up, did you believe in violence to achieve your goals? At the beginning, yes. When when you when you born as a son of a Palestinian family that have been losing uh, our land our our village for the first time, and uh, our second station our second house, and to, we have to build it for the third time. Of course, you are you are asking yourself all the time who caused this to me to my family, and of course. It's the, 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 the clear answer is Israel, the Israel people, the Israel state, the Jewish people, 
uh, and uh, you you start uh, thinking you start looking to them as an enemy that you have to fight them you hate them there is no place for both of us it's all we or them and we have to fight until the end this is this is how we grow and and the really this is how we react to all what happened to us as a Palestinian family so did you see any difference between Israelis and Jews at that time no in, in uh, also nowadays it's like it's like uh, most of the, the the Palestinian people look to the Jewish and to the Israel uh, as the same uh, it's it, there's no big difference we who 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 do research and who who have been interested to understand the Jewish and the Jewish culture and the Jewish history and to 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 understand the difference between Israel and the Jewish and the the, the Judaism we know the difference but at that time no for in, in our eyes it's the same who lives now in in your first village is al kubiba I, i i'm sorry i i'm not sure how to pronounce that kubeba sorry who lives there now it's empty no one lives there there's only the 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 the, the symptoms uh, where the, the the houses have been my grandfather's house and uh, all my uncle's house and the family Uh, no one living there. It, they call it nowadays Tal Kubeba. Uh, it's empty. Uh, uh, near to this place, there is Amatia, there is Lachish. This uh, Jewish uh, uh, villages. Uh, when you, your mom was in jail and Ali was in jail, you were in jail for 18 months yourself. How old were you? It's in 1988. I have been uh -huh. in the age of 19, 20 years old at that age. And you were put in jail because of your, what, activities? Because, in I'm, because I'm part of the Fatah movement. At that time, Fatah movement have been considered a terrorist movement and uh, Uh, to be belong to it, uh, it's it's uh, you in the Israel law, you you are uh, going uh, um, you are going against the law, and you you can be judged for between six months to whatever uh, they can uh, decide. And uh, I know Ali's transformation, uh, a, a lot of it uh, happened because he and your mother went on a hunger strike to see one another and he had been studying uh, Martin Luther King and, and, and different peace activists and learned about nonviolence. And he's always said that that was the first time that he saw that nonviolence could work because he, he was allowed to see uh, your mom. And I was wondering what brought about your thinking that violence wasn't the best way listen our our first intifada it's not a violent intifada at the beginning it start as a, a, a national intifada all the people all the Palestinian people we went out to fight a, 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 or to demonstrate against the, the occupation with stones uh, and closing the roads And uh, and firing a uh, uh, wheels. Uh, 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 this is this is what we use to. Uh, 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 and uh, in my eyes, it's not a violence intifada. It's it's a, it's a, it's a resistant uh, uh, people. Uh, the Palestinian people resistance. Uh, and uh, and and we've seen that it's 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 very powerful. Because all the, the all the, the countries all over the ro the world they they respect us, they support us, they they uh, they have been very with uh, with our uh, resistance, and I, I think what's happened in 1993, 
the peace agreement is uh, one one of the main results of this intifada. Now, for Ali, uh, Ali spent more than me uh, uh, in the jail. He yeah. spent uh, four uh, four years, mm -hmm. and uh, he didn't get uh, the opportunity to study at school to finish his uh, his uh, his, stu his study out. So he continued that in in the jail. And he, he read a lot. Uh, I know that he read a lot about the nonviolence uh, resistance uh, in, in different places in the world. And he went out of the jail uh, uh, after 1993 uh, mm -hmm. when the, the peace agreement had been uh, signed. So he went out and uh, gathered we all as a family. We, we have been in a place that we decide that we do our job. Now we have uh, to live as all the Palestinian people and waiting for the leader, the Palestinian leadership and the Israel leadership to, to bring us the peace by continuing the negotiation and the steps of the peace agreement is uh, step by step. So the, uh, this is what's happened to us as a family until uh, 2000, the 16th of November 2000, the day that Yusuf have been killed. Yes. We, we, we have been uh, busy to, to, to live as any other family. We, we stop uh, our resistance. We support the peace agreement. We support the solution. And uh, 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 we, are, we have been waiting for the, 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 the end of the, the occupation and starting a new life uh, as Palestinian in freedom uh, with, with our uh, country and our authority. And, and this, this is what we, are, we, we, we have been dreaming for. Uh, and not to see more the checkpoint, not to see more political uh, arrestment of the people, not to see more house demolitions, not to see more the Israel soldier uh, moving inside our villages everywhere. Th this is, this, uh, uh, these things is, 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 is uh, what represent the, the occupation in our life and in, 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 in our eyes, in our mind. Uh, so uh, as I, I, uh, I mentioned until 2000, in right. 2000, when, when the Israel army shot my brother Yusuf, 16th of November 2000, 6.30 p.m., inside the village of Beit Umar, we were, where we are living nowadays, mm -hmm. and, and they kill him. Uh, what happened? happened? It's like Yusuf who drive my car inside the village, and he, he, he faced with a, a group of soldiers that uh, they entered to the village of Beit Umar. And of course, the kids of the village uh, faced them with the stones and uh, the soldiers stopped the cars, all the Palestinian cars in between them and the kids. Uh, so Yusuf uh, went out of his car and uh, uh, and they ask the, 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 the kids of Beit Omar to stop uh, throwing stones uh, because it's uh, damaged the car. They respect this and they, uh, and they stop, which make one of the soldiers became very angry and he started uh, uh, talking with Yusuf in a very ugly way and running to his direction while Yusuf asking him why, why, why you are uh, speaking with me like this. He uh, also start throwing stone to his car, to Yusuf's car. The soldier? The soldier, yes. Oh, yeah. And he, the soldier have been very angry because of, uh, I don't know why, but, but this is what's happened. And in, in, in and then the, the soldier uh, ran to Yusuf's direction and he put the gun on his head mm. and he shot ah. from a, a space of 75 centimeters from his head and he killed him. Uh, uh, the general there, the Israel general, he took the soldier, he pushed him. What do you do to me? What do you do to me? Like uh, uh, he, he became angry and he took uh, all, the whole group of soldiers out of the village. 
uh, for mm. us as a family, uh, uh, it's like we've been waiting for peace, for change to good in our life. And instead of this, to having uh, to have uh, this happen to Yusuf, one of mm. us have been killed by by, the, by by Israel by the occupation. This is uh, this is make uh, make us start thinking again. What's what's going on here? Where's the peace? And. Here it's like you 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 have a feeling of uh, responsibility uh, to to move the things uh, uh, the stacking things like th this should not uh, be happened uh, uh, there is something to do but what to do we don't know to to return and to fight to have an, another intifada it's not. Uh, we don't know if this is the right thing or not because we we accept we we respect the the peace agreement and we we are, we are very uh, hopeful to to have the change and and we trust our uh, Palestinian leadership uh, uh, but 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 what what's going on on the ground uh, those uh, victims and uh, and this violence is 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 not right. How we can stop it? Uh, some of the people uh, start blaming us, uh, Palestinian people, that we choose the wrong way by ha by supporting the peace with Israel. Those mm. people they don't, they they are not uh, they, they 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 don't understand the language of peace. The only way that they can understand is the violence way, and you make a mistake about what's family by choosing the, the support, the, the, the peace. Uh, some of the people, others, yeah. they, they, they came and they support us and they stand with us uh, in, 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 in our uh, suffering in, in, after uh, what's happened to Yusuf. And, and yeah. there, and let when we when we have been uh, looking for the direction and when we got the opportunity to meet with people from the other side and uh, i think it's the first time for us as a family that we 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 are listening to 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 the narrative of the other side to the story from the other side of the map and you've seen that this violence uh, and, 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 and uh, this situation is affect the life of all of us negatively. And we should understand this and we can together be more strong, more powerful to change it. When you listen to the stories from the other side, recognize that it's not as you think that they all your enemy and they are uh, uh, like a monster and they are not uh, they are not a human uh, the opposite you you find uh, people who support you support your right and understand your pain uh, your suffering and they and they they are ready to stand with you uh, strongly and uh, and uh, and with and together uh, to go and to do the maximum to change this situation. Was when I, first of all, I am so sorry about Yosef. But um, is that when Yitzhak Frankenthal came to see you? Was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and Can another uh, five, six or seven uh, Israel believed uh, families. Can you tell that story, please? It's like they ask to come and to bring their solidarity to us as a family. Uh, in the beginning, we refuse because in our eyes, when 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 uh, when uh, when this soldier shoots my brother, the first reaction that you look to the whole Jewish in the world, 
to the whole Israel uh, Jewish people like they are your enemy. They all kill your brother. And when you start going down and uh, uh, you, you start to be more uh, thinking and uh, try to understand uh, the fact. And during this time, he asked to come and to visit us uh, because he also, he lost his, uh, his son on this conflict. So uh, they came to our house in Beit Omar. We sat in a circle. We tell them what's happened to us as a family, what's happened to Yusuf, and how the soldier killed my brother Yusuf. And they, 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 they've shown a lot of solidarity and uh, understand. Uh, and then uh, every one of them have a story uh, similar to our story. One of them, she's a mother from Telmont. She tells the story of her uh, 13 years old daughter that have been killed in a suicide bomb in Dizengwef Center. Uh, and when she tell about her daughter and how she have been a very peaceful uh, girl, she she writes uh, her uh, um, uh, in a book in a dirty book uh, uh, a lot of good things about uh, all different kinds of human being. Mm-hmm. And she mentioned us as Palestinian and the. the People like she is she's loving the Palestinian people. She respects the Palestinian people, uh, uh, and and she became a victim of this conflict, which make uh, uh, all of us, especially me, looking to to what's going on in like this is unbelievable. We we cannot accept that these things con- continue to be happened in our life. We should stop this, uh, and 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 and, and uh, since that time, since, since that meeting, you you start looking to the whole fact from all, from both sides, and uh, we, we 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 start to understand the, the reality in a different way. Uh, like it's not us them. Uh, it's not that we, they all our enemy. It's like we we have uh, the majority of the Palestinian and the Israel people. They want to live in peace, and they are ready to 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 join each other to support each other, uh, and together changing this reality. And and uh, we we start going on this way, uh, starting by uh, being the Palestinian partners with Frankenthal to establish the the PCF of the Parent Circle Family Forum, right. and uh, and I have been there for nine years, uh, ten years, uh, and then we established the way Al Tariq, which is a Palestinian movement. Uh, that believe in non-violence and uh, training uh, a lot of uh, Palestinian youth and the youngest uh, how to resist in a non-violence way. And we continue, we continue until uh, what's happened before seven years when Ali start uh, roots. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been with him at the beginning and uh, right. then he continued. And I, I have been busy. And later, after two years or one and a half years of establishing the movement I, or the initiative, I, he asked me if I can take a position there and uh, in, in the management of the Palestinian side of uh, the initiative. And <laughs> yes, that's what's done. Wow. Um, yeah, um, actually, uh, Robbie Damelin and, and Leila Elshek are going, who are from, uh, parents, uh, 
circle family form are going to yes. speak um as well um but i mean yusuf died and then two la years later your other brother also was was uh well he was wounded and died, then died after after 10 days, Ten days how, yes. how did that happen well, uh, the story of Said until now, we don't know what exactly happened. All what we know that in the 26th of uh, February 2002, uh, uh, I think it's happened uh, uh, 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning when he went from my mother's house to the shop to buy something. And in the entrance of the market, he had been shooting from the, the, the road 60, where there is a, 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 an army tunnel there. And, and, and we don't know exactly why and what's happened. Mm -hmm. there's, no, uh, there's no demonstration. There is uh, no, uh, nothing, no violent things. Nothing happened there. It's just someone, uh, one of the soldiers shot him. He spent 10 days in El Makasid Hospital, and then he died. He passed away. So, but uh, you you know it was a, a soldier? Yeah, of course. It's, it's the, the, it, it, he had been shooting from the direction of the, mm -hmm. the, the Road 60, the, the, the army tunnel. It, there's, mm -hmm. no, there's no Palestinian there to shoot. Mm. <laughs> You've had so many tragedies. Even your, your son uh, was wounded. How did wow. that happen? Mayad in 2004, when uh, when uh, when Yasser Arafat uh, after Yasser Arafat passed away, uh, the day uh, um, that we uh, they bring Yasser Arafat back to to his uh, final destiny, uh, so there's a, all all the Palestinian uh, cities and villages everywhere in the everywhere in the Palestinian area, they. We, we we went out and especially the the youth they went out to 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 demonstrate for uh, the, the for the death of Arafat. It's not uh, against Israel. It's something that like we we are angry that we lose uh, this uh, this uh, this unique leader mm -hmm. and. Uh, that day, my son, uh, Muayyad, who have been uh, 16 years old uh, or, or 15 or 16, between 15 to 16 years old, he had been, with the, he had been out uh, with the kids in, inside the village. Mm -hmm. And we know that the, the Israel army orders uh, the whole uh, army not to shoot, not to be close to Palestinian demonstration because this is not uh, uh, against Israel. This is a kind of, uh, you know, and uh, within these orders, uh, a Mishmar Gvul, what we call it, Mishmar Gvul uh, group, they went inside to the village and they start shooting uh, the youth. Mm. And one of them have been my son. He have been in a very in a high danger uh, of his life. Mm. And then we move him to Hadassah Hospital. Uh, and uh, he have been in a surgery for nine hours. Uh, and then he spent two months there. I've been with him, and he it's like effect uh, his life. He became handicapped until the end of his life. The moment that the, 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 those soldiers shot my my son, at that time I have been in the parent circle. I've mm -hmm. been in a place uh, called Gesher Ziv in. Uh, in the north of the West Bank. It's a, a, an Israel Jewish school, kids of, of, uh, in the age of my son, mm -hmm. with my partner at that time, uh, Boaz Kitain, who had been giving a lecture about reconciliation and peace between Palestinian and Israel. 
the moment that the the head of the school, the manager of the school, came to us and he asked uh, my partner Boaz to stop the lecture. And he took him uh, away from me and he told him that ask Khalid to 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 start moving to his village because his son have been uh, in jail. Uh, and he is in, a, in a, he is in a high danger, his life in a danger. So Boaz came to me and uh, he told me that my son have been shooting, but he's okay. He's uh, it's not dangerous. And he 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 said the sentence in front of the kids. You know, at that moment to hear that your son have been shooting and he's. Uh, you don't know what's happening exactly. It's the, the this this moment in in my in 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 my mind in my eyes. It's a moment of uh, testing yourself. How strong you are standing behind what you believe and what you are telling to the others. Sure. So my partner was uh, told the kids that we are here to give you a hope and there is someone else in, an, in a different place who is shooting and killing the hope. At that moment, I have been in my way out. I return back. I stand again in front of the, 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 the class and uh, because what my partner was said it's like this is not what I, this is not my message to those kids, to those youth. I said, whatever will happen to my son, what I'm doing here, what I'm telling you is the way, the only way that can bring us to live in peace and to go on this way, we need this hope. Whatever happened to my son, my message to all of you, don't lose the hope. We will continue whatever will happen. And then I went out and I start my way back to Beit Umar, to my son. And I met him in, in, in Jerusalem, actually, in, in Hadassah, uh, because it took me more than two and a half hours to go back. I understand part of what helped you also was how he was treated at the hospital and even at the scene, an Israeli woman tried to help. It's tragedy, so much tragedy. And yet here you are continuing working on Roots. Let's let's talk about your wonderful work at Roots because that's really something extremely positive. And can you explain a little bit about the goals of Roots and and what you're trying to achieve there between Israelis and Palestinians? Roots, in my eyes, doing the most important thing that should be done between the two people of us. Because my belief is we cannot have peace without passing a process of reconciliation. Reconciliation because we... we the history and all what's happened since 1948 and before is making the, the, the gap between both of us uh, very big. And there's a lot of hatred. Uh, and there's a reason for this. Uh, there's no trust between both of us. And, and what we need is to work on these things. Fear, a lot of fear. We don't trust each other. We, we are afraid from everything that came from the other side, both of us. Mm -hmm. uh, so in order to, 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 to make the two people ready to accept, to support, to make the, the, uh, 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 the peace agreement work between us, you know, they need to pass through this process of reconciliation. And one of the main thing on this way is the meeting the meeting between the two people it's very important to understand 
the, 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 the identity, the culture, the, the history, everything, everything in order to start trusting the other one. Start, decrease your fear and, and be more strong to have a decision, to support the decision, to give a trust. So this is what we are doing. Why with settlers? Because I think that uh, most of the, the, the peace NGOs, they are working with, with people from different places, but not with, with the soldier. And we know a lot of violence happened in the West Bank between the Palestinian and the settlers. Uh, sorry, the settlers. And, and in roots, we are looking that we, we believe that we can change this by meeting, by bringing the two people in the West Bank to meet, to start a, a giving uh, who are you and what you want and, uh, and looking to the other one as a human being. And I, I, I think this is, this is very important. Yes, it's important to talk with people from Tel Aviv, but it's more important to talk with the extreme right wing of the Israel society, to open a discussion, to open a kind of understand uh, between uh, both of us. Because in my eyes, this is the last gate that's still closed. Some of the people say, listen, this is, this is cannot go with uh, the Oslo agreement. Maybe, maybe, but not exactly. We also respect Oslo agreement. And we think that Oslo agreement make a lot of good things. Mm -hmm. But we, we think that Oslo, in Oslo, they, they care more about the land than the human being, than the people who live on this land. And because of this, it's, it's still stuck since 26, 27 years ago until now. We think we should work and care about the people who live on this land more. Of course, in roots, we believe in two-state solution. We don't believe that the land should be divided. We should find a kind of, of solution, how we can allow the whole Palestinian people and, and the whole Israel people living everywhere, but their belong is to their state. Yes. We, 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 we believe that we should have the Palestinian state, the Palestinian authority, and the Israel people should have and achieve their dream of having the Israel state. These two facts should be happened. And uh, uh, every people, every one of the two people belong to his nationality, to his authority, to his uh, uh, leader. Uh, Do you know about how many people have gone through your programs? Oh, a lot. Every year we, we have... Since 2014, uh, right? 2014, 2016. Uh, it started 2014. Right. But every we have in our in, in we met with in, with with more than thirty thousand people in our center. Thirty thousand people. Holy moly! More than thirty-five thousand people uh, who came to our center and listened to our uh, uh, initiative to what we believe. We met both of us, Israel and Palestinian, and uh, yeah. And. How do the uh, Palestinians react to the fact that you're working with Roots? It's not easy to understand what we are doing. I think more the leader, some of the Palestinian leader, they understand what we are doing. And in some way, they support us. Because, you know, we have also a high percentage of the of the Palestinian uh, leadership, they, they start believing in the one state solution, which is not us. We are not, we're still talking about two state solution, but not, it's like not to divide the land. Like we, we have a sentence, we say, the whole area of, the Pal of Palestine, historical Palestine is belong to, to the Palestinian people. And the whole area of, the Israel uh, uh, state is belonging to, to, to the Israel people, which means that every Palestinian has the right to live wherever he wants. Every Israel can live to wherever he wants. And we still have two states. We have the Palestinian state, 
they will have the, their Israel state. And, 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 and this is, I think in my eyes, this is the, the only way that, this is, that we can solve this problem. Because in the, in the reality, to, 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 to divide and to change area here and there and then this and to move the people from here to here, it's, it's, it, I don't believe that this will work. Mm. So what kind of transformations have you seen in the people who participate in your programs? I think all the initiatives that the people hear or listen to is bring them to a kind of a, 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 that, that there is no solution, no hope. And when they listen to us, when they listen to our initiative, to our idea, uh, I think we we bring the hope back to the to those people. I've seen a lot of people, people. Who, and when they listen to our idea and going deeply to what we believe, they 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 became uh, 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 very involved in what we are doing. A serious persons of people. They became members, like we start in, in, in the area of uh, between Gosh uh, uh, and Khalid Afane, and then in the Jordan Valley, and then in the in the Nablus area, and and and, and all this happened because the people became very interested to what we are saying and what we are doing, and they have seen with what we are doing is something ch- uh, different. Something that they can, they can, uh, they can believe. It's it's not uh, impossible to to have a solution. So you have Palestinians and you have Israeli settlers, and is it uh, a weeks long program or or a series? How how does it work? What do you mean? Well, I I can imagine. The first meetings with the Palestinian uh, people who come and the Israeli settlers, you know, it's not quickly to change their mind. It's not, it's not easy. Anyone who came for the first time, when they have seen, it's not, it's not only settlers. When it's like mm. to. See a religious, uh, 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 a religious uh, uh, Jewish person with uh, this different shape of uh, hair and uh, kippah, these things, it's like, uh, it's not easy. And step by step, when they sit and when they start listening and when this uh, uh, religious person start talking, and bringing a, 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 and and when they feel that he is is he's in a place where he respect them and he understand and support their right uh, all the things start to be open and they they've they've seen on this meeting uh, something uh, different and uh, and important i think yeah. uh, so it's not easy Easy. For some people, it took them two or three meetings until they start to be open and to give a kind of a, a trust to, with the other side. But most of the people uh, uh, through this process, they, they became a, a, a serious believer with what we are doing. Yes. Yeah. I, you, you all, I live over here and you all got to me. <laughs> So, so what what you do is so powerful in so many ways. Um, what happens because, unfortunately, where you live, there's so much ugliness always going on. Um, what happens when there when different incidents happen with with your meetings and such? Uh, listen, uh, what we are doing is to change the reality. Of course, we know that what we are, uh, our reality is, 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 is uh, very hard. In, in our daily life, we face a lot of pain, a lot of uh, violence. Uh, and this is, this, is, this is the reason that we 
do what we are doing. So we, it's happened many times that during our meetings, we hear about something that happened uh, in, in, in somewhere in, 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 in our area or in other areas. And, and uh, immediately what we, what we, our answer to the people that because of this, we are doing what we are doing. This meeting is, 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 is here to change the reality. Uh, so we are, we are not. We are trying to empower the people, not to to let the reality blocking them. Just to continue, and to do what we are doing, in order to change this reality, in order to change the future of all of us. You not only meet together and try to listen to one another's narratives, but when things happen that you feel are unfair your people actually get involved. Could you talk about a couple examples of how yeah, Roots has gotten are, involved? Yeah, we are trying also. In, 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 in one of what we are trying to do is, is to help the people uh, with what's going on in their daily life. For example, if, if someone got a, 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 an order that they are coming to 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 demolish his house, we are going and we support them. When they when 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 when, when a guy when a, a young uh, uh, youth uh, Khalid from Betuma have been shooting and uh, the ar and uh, the army uh, hold his his uh, body, we we fight to to bring back the body of uh, this uh, guy to his family. We, when, when the people came to, to work in their land and uh, other settlers or army uh, stand and not allowing them, we, we are going and we support the, those people to, to, to reach their land and to work in their land. Uh, in everything, we, we, are, we, are, we are trying to to, to convince the, the, the for example, uh, the, the army in uh, to allow uh, building a Palestinian house, to allow the Palestinian to build houses in, in, uh, in Area C, which is under the Israel con uh, control, the, the Israel security control. Uh, we, are, we are trying the maximum that we can uh, to, to 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 support the people in their daily life. The same but, uh, time, I'm sorry. What we are doing for the reconciliation between the two people. Right, and but but you also um, you named a number of things where you're trying to help Palestinians, but also you help Israelis when and when things happen, uh, and uh, for instance, when someone's hurt. Uh, or or killed that you uh, go and support the family in those situations as well. Of course, of course, of course. We we are looking to all the people of our area. It's the same. Uh, any anything happened to anyone for us? Uh, we uh, we refuse all kinds of violence against uh, our, uh, the the others. And uh, when any family, when anything happened to any family, we, we, uh, never mind if it's a Palestinian or an Israel family, a Jewish or a Muslim family, we, we, we are going immediately and we support them and we bring our solidarity and our support and uh, our uh, uh, refuse to what's happened to them. And uh, yeah, yeah. So, so what's happening because of COVID? COVID-19. Yeah, well, in, in, in two regards. One, what's going on with your programs because of COVID. And then I'd love to hear your, um, you know, there's over here, we hear the big controversy of, of um, what we read, the PA didn't want to accept vaccinations from Israel 
They, they went to Russia, they went to other countries, and Israel has received a lot of criticism uh, previously for not vaccinating the Palestinians, although now they, uh, as I understand it, are vaccinating Palestinians who work in Israel. So there's, there's two questions. One, what happens with your programs because of what's been going on? with COVID and number two, what's, what, what is your belief about the vaccinations and who's responsible and who should be helping the Palestinians with the vaccinations? What's happened to our work uh, during the COVID-19 uh, time uh, since March 2000 when it started it's like uh, all the the face to face meeting have been stopped until now actually just the just one and a half months we start uh, meeting in in, in a small groups few people uh, but uh, before we most of our meetings have been done through the zoom uh, mm -hmm. application uh, we continue to meet. We continue to have uh, groups uh, through uh, Zoom. Uh, we continue to manage and to lead and to do the things through Zoom. But it's not the same as uh, when you meet face to face. So one and a half months, we start to go back. Today we decide that the, the meeting between the youth and the women and, the, and all the different groups should start step by step in a small groups in, in an open space. Yeah, we didn't stop. We didn't allow the COVID-19 to stop us. <laughs> this political issues uh, around the vaccination between the Israel and the PA, I... I I don't know exactly what's going on there, and I I'm not involved in this. Mm. Uh, and I uh, hope that they will they will uh, uh, start uh, to have a good cooperation between both of them, Israel and Palestine, uh, not only for uh, solving the the vaccination uh, conflict, <laughs> also <laughs> the main conflict. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I I hope that our election in, in the Palestinian side will will bring a kind of change uh, that can uh, give uh, uh, more power to to the negotiation uh, and to to the peace uh, process. I hope. Yeah. Um. So, what are three lessons that you've learned? from working on peace? First, the most strong thing that we can, the, the, the most strong poem, uh, weapon that we can have in our life is the, the uh, to believe in the humanity and, uh, and in, in, in the peaceful reaction and not violence. Uh, secondly, not to generalize like when, 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 when something happened, don't blame all the people. Blame or try to, 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 to surround it in the person or the one who do the action or the things. Uh, thirdly, whatever happened, I think hope is an important thing in our life. We should continue hope that the best can happen do you think we're moving toward peace or away from peace at this time i think we are stuck we are not going anywhere not far or and not uh, to the direction of peace i think we are stuck we are stopping we are freezing in a point i hope that we and i'm i'm, I'm optimist that uh, after the election we will move uh, to the direction of uh, having peace or to the peace. Which election or both? <laughs> it's it's so complicated there. There's always, there's nothing that's ever just easy. But uh, 
What, what do you do? You think it's going to take new leaders, or or what? At least it will bring a kind of change. At least I'm sure that will that will happen, especially in the the parliament level. And it's important for us. I think I am. I, I I think it it's an important step. Uh, especially after 16 years of stucking in uh, without having any 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 change politically in the in the Palestinian uh, side in between us as Palestinian people and uh, between Hamas and Fatah and uh, Gaza and the West Bank uh, and I hope and I pray to God that this election will 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 open or oh, 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 will, uh, will, will help the people of Gaza to go out of this big jail that they are, they have been arrested inside. I know that the people in Gaza suffer a lot and I'm, 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 I hope that this election will, will stop their suffering and will help them also and will help us also. Do you think the violence will stop? What, what, will, what would cause the violence to finally stop. Benny, the violence will not stop at all. Not only here, everywhere. Of mm. course, all the time, everywhere. I will, I, I, in my eyes, those are the weak people that they cannot control their anger, their hatred, and they let this anger and hatred lead them to to uh, to react in a violent way against human being, whatever their reason, whatever their explanation, it's not acceptable in my eyes. I think we reach a level as a human being nowadays to understand that everything can be solved by meeting, by talking, by being patient and waiting. And looking for the right person or the right leader or the right group in order to solve the problems. Mm. Be strong means not to be a violent person. Violence yeah. is the weapon of the weak people. Only the weapon of the weak people. Do you think that peace will happen in your lifetime? I don't know how long I, I still have to live. Right. Uh, Let's hope for good things. <laughs> I hope. I hope that the, the symptoms of peace will be will start in in the in the in, in, during my life, in order to 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 feel that That's for my, for my uh, there'll be better than yeah. Always, our kids. We want to live better than us. I wanted to ask as my final question of you before I end, um, if you were speaking to the people of the world, what would the message be that you'd want them to know about your work and your community? My message to the, to the people in the world that if wherever they can support not only us, uh, all these kinds of activities that taking care about the human being and the humanity. Uh, I hope that I, 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 my message is do that. Uh, and if there's a conflict and you from overseas want to give an opinion, give something that can help. Don't, don't be pro this or pro this. People, the solution and the goodness between the people everywhere, especially for us, Palestinian and Israel, support both of us to achieve peace in our region and not to fight. Thank you. So thanks so much, Khaled, for sharing both your tragic and truly inspirational experiences with us. Next week on April 13th, 
at 11 a.m. Pacific time. We'll be trying something new, and I hope the technological demons don't stop us. April 13th is the joint Israeli-Palestinian Memorial Day ceremony commemorating lost loved ones put on by Parent Circle Family Forum and combatants, uh, combatants, sorry, <laughs> that word always gets to me, for peace. Uh, it is a day when both Israelis and Palestinians gather to remember their families and friends lost due to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. This is the 16th year, and I thought we might try to stream the event if technology will permit. There'll be important speakers and those including uh, people who have lost loved ones and today work on peace. There's also going to be entertainment. We'll see how this goes. We'll watch together and I'll stay on and make comments and I'll welcome your comments as well. I hope you'll join us to listen to this heartfelt gathering of people who want to put an end to this endless loop of revenge and pain. To our listeners today and those listening to the recording later, thank you and may you live in peace, shalom, and salam. Mm -hmm.